This is the first thing I like to do. Come into the bathroom with a tall glass of water and all of my vitamins for the day. I don't always remember to take them, but when I add it to my beauty regimen and make sure it's part of my skincare and taking care of myself aspect of the day, I make sure that I always get these in. So I like to take them like three at a time and I'll put the water in my mouth first. If you've never done this, definitely try it. You put the water in your mouth and then drop the vitamins in so you don't taste, smell, or feel them as you swallow. It's really easy to do it that way and I'll even take more than one. I'll take like three at a time. I need to take my vitamins because I deal with things like anxiety and rapid thinking and depression and when I don't take them it gets really bad. So what I have to do is make sure the quality of my vitamins is really good. I make sure that they're food based and organic which is really important because if you didn't know, vitamins are often made of synthetic chemicals and different things that you don't want to ingest. My regimen isn't perfect but I really like taking them and it makes me feel good. So once that's done, I know I have it off my chest. Now I can remove my makeup and get my skin really, really clean. I like this product. I'm new to it, but it's really good. It's like a cleansing balm and it feels so nice on the skin. It's silky and oily and it melts everything away instantly. So I'll give myself a facial massage and spend a little bit of extra time removing the small amount of makeup I had on. And as I'm massaging my skin, I'm making sure that I try and bring my mind back into the room with me bring it back to where I actually am. I'm taking a cleanser, massaging my skin, and I'm really trying to focus on the sensation of my fingertips, like massaging my face. What this does for me is it brings my mind out of where it was, which is like what it could have and what it should have and what might happen tomorrow and just all of this craziness in my mind that is so quick and definitely not in the present. So when I bring myself back to the present, I try and focus on what I'm doing right here and right now and really just reflect on what I see right in this moment. Using my steamer has definitely improved the tone of my skin and it makes me feel special and pampered, which is something I've always wanted to feel. Since I was very, very little, I've been into spas and treating myself and feeling elegant and taken care of. I don't know why, but I have to realize that it's a part of me and it's what I really like. So making sure that I have my steamer on definitely makes me feel really good. Now I'm gonna finish up with my regular skincare routine, but I'll take a little bit of extra time, put some extra toner, let it sit in my skin a little bit longer, do things that are just a little bit out of the ordinary, and then I'm gonna put a mask on before I complete the skincare. I'm using this uh, coconut mask. This has like got a lot of gel in it and it's very wet. I don't actually like the way that this mask performs because it doesn't stick to my face, but trying new things is really fun for me. So I have a multitude of different skincare items that I'll use at this time, and today I happen to be using this one. Normally I'll use a mask that like comes in a pot and you can just apply. find that to be a lot less pressure because like look, this is so hard to keep on your face, but nonetheless it's still relaxing. Now I'm gonna fill up the bath because it's time to move on to a more physical therapy form. And this is really nice. If you have a bathtub, you can do it with just the bath. You can do it also with the shower or both. I'm gonna be using both because I want the maximum benefit. While the water is filling up, I'm gonna take a little bit of time. I would categorize this as expressing myself. So sometimes I don't feel like writing, I'll like dance in the mirror and that's expressing myself. Or sometimes I'll read like poetry or I'll like draw something. Today I need to see something on paper. There's something that's like kind of bothering me and I just wanna write it down so that I can see it and kind of get it out of my system. What's most important here is expressing how you feel. Something I learned when I was young is that that when you don't express how you feel, it will express itself within your body. And just by the very nature of holding on to emotions, it makes it easier for your body to hold on to things like impurities and things that don't make you feel good. It literally will manifest in different ways. And so much of the time when I hear somebody has a body issue, they chalk it up to the body itself. They're like, I have acne because my skin is really bad. And it's not necessarily the case. So much of the time we just need to express how we feel, especially as girls, it's really, really important and it can be really difficult sometimes. So yeah, watch me get into the bath while I give you like spiritual advice. I'm getting into this bath and it's really, really, really hot. This is the water therapy or the therapy I was talking about. So you get into really, really hot water and it doesn't have to be so hot that you're like burning yourself. I do not want that, but I do want it to be hotter than a regular bath, something that is almost too hot and use this time to just sit and relax. You're going to notice that you have to feel what's going on around you for anxiety and different things that bring you out of your headspace. This is a really good one because it forces you to come back to where you are right now. 
Once I get a little too hot, I'm going to run over to the shower and put cool water on my body. I'm not going to make it too hot. It's not freezing either, but I definitely don't want this to be warming. I want to cool off the body and I'm going to take this time to do my regular shower regimen, which is fairly quick depending on what I need to do. Playing with these hot and cold temperatures is not just a mental theory that I have. This is a very literal form of therapy and it's fantastic for draining the lymphatic system. So quick science thing, I don't know much, but I do know that the lymphatic system is responsible for draining toxins and just making you feel really good, to put it in simple terms. And when it can't drain all of the things it needs to drain out of the body, you feel tired and sluggish and it's easier to hold on to excess weight. But the thing is with the lymphatic system, it will not drain itself. It literally needs your help. And they don't teach us in school. Nobody talks about this, but it's the source of so many health issues that people have. When I found out that the lymphatic system like needs my help to do like the biggest job in the body or like one of the biggest jobs, I was like, I, I was really shook to be honest, because I was like, why would the body have an entire system that doesn't do its own work for you? But the thing is, you have to realize that we lived in different times Back in the old days, we would like live in really hot environments. That's what humans are like made to live in. And then we would get into cold or cool oceans or lakes and we would bathe. So that would be the hot and cold therapy that we would need for like, you know, human survival. But we live in different environments now and we usually take hot showers, but we rarely rinse off in cold. So it's really important to do that once in a while. Trust me, you will see a big improvement in the way you feel and just like your health once you start doing it. After I get out of the bath, I just use my body oil. I don't always moisturize my body, but when I'm doing a pamper routine, I always make sure I use coconut oil. I also have a bikini line routine that I am working on because summer is coming up, but I didn't show that here. If you guys want to see that, I can do that video. I'm just going to make sure I put the coconut oil all over my body. This is a really simple and excellent product. I use this in my hair. I use this on my face. I use this like everywhere. Uh, it's amazing. So coconut oil for the win. And then once my body is moisturized, I'll throw on my towel and then finish up with my skincare. So my face is hydrated from the mask and it got an extra bit of steaming in the bath, but I'm going to reinforce that oil because I love to be moisturized and my skin is a little dehydrated these days. So I'll add some oil and just top up my skin. I'm not going to do a facial massage tonight because I just don't feel like it, but sometimes I will. Sometimes I'll keep it really simple. And that completes my body care, my mental care, my pamper routine, like everything all in one. And I feel really good and nourished and I'm so happy I took care of myself. I'm feeling really, really good. I hope you guys do too. I love you. Bye-bye.